Monday morning, GBN journeyed to the fishing villages of Subis and Marquis St. Andrew. Fishermen and sea moss farmers are speaking out, hoping that government will somehow come to their rescue as they are once again feeling the effects of the invasion of Sagasum seaweed. One fisherman who has been in the business for years and is now in his latter years says he cannot make his daily bread with the situation as it is. He wants government to come to the aid of fisher folk with some form of bailout. Must get into it sometimes, it, uh, it burn the, the engine. Uh, see with the handbag in you from a daily bread. When you out the, when you slack out the line, is wet, wet in the hook, so you, you, you can't keep it in the water. You have to haul it in and leave it in the boat because you really have fucking us. I mean, uh, yeah, the fishermen them having problems to get up early in the morning and go in the water between that to, to go for the boat to go out to sea. While they understand they cannot change the way nature operates, CMOS farmers are hard hit. The industry has begun showing potential, they say, as there have been a great demand for the commodity on the international market. Now their farms have been totally wrecked by the weeds and banked aside. Government had to take a step and done something about that. But I see they're doing nothing, only, they're only talking and they don't work in. We have to put ourselves together and organize for the fishermen when they come to the saga somewhere. We have to, we have to get some help with that. The fishermen don't have it nice at all. And make it worse when they meet it outside there, it'll be a problem to hold up the line and everything like that. So, you see what's going on on the edge of the rock there? That is the most of them and plant. And how the saga will come now, you just go with everything and jam it on the rock. And what will happen now, the sea must go rotten between it if the man and rush to go and take it out in time. You understand? So Christina John, GBN News.